Well, hello. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. And welcome to the Gridiron. Got uh, from the New York Giants, Justin Tuck raves about the upgraded pass rush. Now, when a two-time Super Bowl champion raves about the pass rush, all right, you might want to pay it, sit up and pay attention, especially because he's the only player in Super Bowl history who has multiple sacks in multiple Super Bowls. When the game was big, he came, he came to play, okay? Um, yeah, he... He was very instrumental in this one in both those Super Bowls. He was huge, right in the middle. Oh, man. I love seeing 91 on the field, I can tell you that much. Now, um, yeah, he, he, you know, you got um, to agree with what he said. I mean, last year we had 40 sacks, all right, which was 12th, which, you know, <laughs> consider, you know, <laughs> Who we had on the field some of the times, you know. I mean, we had, like, Carter Coughlin out there, seventh rounder, you know. Uh, we had <laughs> Jabal Sheard uh, was out there. Uh, he, was, he was off the practice squad from the Jacksonville Jaguars. We had him out there playing some snaps. And somehow we wound up um, tied with the, um, I believe we were tied with the Colts at, with 40 sacks. Just in front of us was the Miami Dolphins with the, and the Green Bay Packers with 41. So if we had a couple more sacks, we'd be almost like in the top 10. And, you you know, you got to think, you know, as I said, what we had out there, I mean, that's pretty impressive. You know, can you just imagine, you just add a little more firepower to that. I mean, we can certainly get up around 50. And if we were to get up around 50, there was only two teams last year that went over 50. There were only two teams that had 50. I mean, uh, the Rams and the uh, Steelers had over 50. Nobody had, nobody had more than 50 than those two teams. So, I mean, we could we could get into you know, we get a couple good edge rushers. I mean, we had you know our edge right. I mean, the X Man went down. Lorenzo Carter went down. I mean, you know, we pretty much no, no edge rushers. We we got 40 sacks. You know. We, if we're able to stay healthy, as these Ojolari can do his thing, I'll tell you what, uh, we can get him some rare air up there. We can certainly get in the top five as far as sacks this year. Um, you know, Justin, you know, Tuck, he, uh, he mentioned a few things. He was talking, you know, um, he said, you know, over the time, the Giants have usually been known for their front seven. And this year, they certainly seem to have a lot of pieces to the puzzle for that. Now, unfortunately, they lost Alvin Tomlinson. Okay, but uh, I can't say they replaced him with Danny Shelton. I mean, Danny Shelton's a, um, you know, pretty much a run stuffer. Uh, you know, Dalvin was very good against the run, too. And not that Dalvin was much of a, um, a pass rusher, okay. Uh, but, I mean, you know, he was a little more flexible, I think, than Danny Shelton. Danny Shelton's just kind of pretty much being there just to clog up the space, all right, take up, you know, the, in the run game. But, uh, I mean, you know, if we if we got Lorenzo Carter coming back, O'Shane, the X-Man coming back, um, you know, we drafted Ellison Smith, got Aziz Ojolari, you know, we got Brian Anderson we came, came in, um, we got Afidi Odenigbo, um, who's going to, I'm sure they'll bounce him around from being on the line, you know, you know to being maybe a, you know, an, an edge rusher, you know. But uh, we, we had a, a lot, a lot of pieces to the puzzle is what Justin Tuck was talking about. Now, one of the things, the problem is that we have a lot of guys to like kind of very short-term contracts. Now, the problem, I mean, the good thing with that is that if it doesn't work out, it's, you know, bye-bye. The bad thing about that is if they start doing good, I mean, we have a lot of money uh, going out for, for next year already. So we don't have a lot of money left over. So... If some of these guys really start turning out to be pretty good, you know, we, we don't have a lot of money to start. We sign a whole bunch of guys, especially maybe, say, like Lorenzo Carter, you know. Uh, you know, some of these guys on contract years, you know. Evan Ingram, you know, Will Hernandez, you know. You know, so we're kind of a little strapped for money, so it's going to be kind of 
tight. So we're going to have to kind of pick and choose kind of, you know, who we're going to wind up signing if we are going to wind up signing anybody. But we did add a lot of pieces to the puzzle. And what also Justin Tuck mentioned, he said, there's a, there's a lot of guys in this, that are in their second season, okay, under Graham, you know, and his, and his scheme, you know, which is huge. I mean, the, the guys should be a lot more comfortable. They should play faster. And they should be playing with more confidence. This should also allow Patrick Graham, okay, to have him to do a lot more of the things that he likes to do to kind of free up people, you know, because um, he likes to do a lot of cover one, all right? Um, you know, and, you know, you figure, especially if he, uh, the, with the additions that we made in the secondary, especially with the Dory Jackson, all right, this, this is, you know, this is huge, you know, because the, the secondary, you know, and, you know, and the front seven just kind of goes hand in hand. I mean, a, a good quality pass rush helps the secondary, you know, they don't have to cover that long. And again, they got a good secondary and they can cover for a while. Every now and then you're going to get those coverage sacks, which is huge. But Patrick Graham, he likes to do the cover one, which which means, you know, the offense can only send five guys out. That's all they can do. you got the five offensive linemen and the quarterback. At least five guys. They can only send five guys out. So if you can cover those five guys with five guys, that leaves you six guys to rush the passer. They can't cover all of them. And that's what that's what's so special with Dory Jackson. You can kind of put him out there on that island against the second receiver of the other team. Last year, as we found out, you know, with uh, you know, Corey Ballantyne, you know, um, Isaac Yadam, you know, you know, I mean, weren't able to do that. Now, now you can, you know, with the Dory Jackson being out there. Um, you know, so it's, it's huge. I mean, you know, especially what Patrick Graham likes to do. I mean, if, if, you, if you think about... You know, all the coverage that he had to do last year to, to, you know, I mean, you know, maybe Bradbury could be cover one, but then, you know, you, you, you needed other guys to, to help the second cornerback. You know, so you might, have, you might have had to have five, six guys in coverage, maybe seven guys in coverage because, you know, you didn't have quality cornerbacks. So you can only rush three guys, rush four guys, you know, and... That your, your sacks hurt, you know. But I mean, I said, if you, you only need to put five guys, six guys in coverage, and you can rush five or six at the quarterback, that's pretty special. You know, we can certainly go from 40 to 45, possibly even 50. And just think next year. I mean, if Daniel Jones winds up being the quarterback, okay? Um, just think what we can do maybe in a, in a, we got two first rounders and a second round. You know, three guys next year in the draft who you should be pretty much be able to just plug and play in there. Man, I mean, if, like if you had to let Lorenzo Carter go, because, I mean, if he has a decent year, you know, he's going to want, you know, six to eight million. Just throwing a number out there. I don't know if the Giants going to want to pay that. You know, somebody will pay that, sure. But, I mean, you know, if you got to let him go, but I'm saying if you can get a, an edge rusher in the first round or second round next year to pair, the, to pair with Aziz Ojolari, man, have the, those bookends, wow, how special that would be. And if you can get, like, a, a, you know, one of those other picks, those early picks, if you can get, like, a, 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 a somebody put next to Blake Martinez, or if you can get another stud defensive lineman who can rush the quarterback, oh, my goodness. Wow, I tell you what, this would be a pretty awesome defense. And I tell you what, if Justin Tuck thinks, if he's impressed, you know, you got to pay attention to that, as I said, because he's a two-time Super Bowl champion, and he's the only player in Super Bowl history who has multiple sacks and multiple Super Bowls. So the guy knows what he's talking about, and I can hardly wait for the season to kick off. Well, as always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. You guys stay safe out there and go Giants! Woo!